So these tests are usually employed by physicians to assess your glucose levels and in turn, um, you know, help kind of dictate the further protocol of management. Uh, some of the tests are very commonly employed and I'm just going to go through them today, tell you what they mean and why we're doing them. And some of them would be on occasion asked for. So to begin with, number one would be FBS or fasting blood sugar. And what that basically means is how much are your sugars in the blood even when you haven't eaten anything. And that of course is a very important factor in deciding what the management is going to look like. The next one, number two, is PPBS or postprandial blood sugar. And that just means about an hour or two hours after you have eaten anything. And that would be important to know how well the drugs are working and how well your sugar is being managed with the drugs that you are on. Now this third one is really important and it's called HbA1c or glycated hemoglobin. Now normally our blood has red blood cells which carry oxygen from the lungs to the body and why I'm saying all this is because when you are diabetic and you have sustained levels of high glucose some part of the blood cells RBCs start carrying glucose along with it in its hemoglobin rather than the oxygen and that's what we're trying to assess when we see and when we ask you to do an HbA1c. Now please understand FPS and PPPS are uh, numbers that can range on a daily basis even you know within an hour you can have different readings some day you've had a heavy breakfast some days you've had light dinner so these are readings that can change on a daily basis but HbA1c is something that's going to stay relatively fixed and it gives us a window of you know last three months how your glucose has been so this becomes a very vital and important test to do uh, and it's very important assessing as a physician to assess if there needs to be an addition or removal or change of any medication Lastly, there are going to be some tests that some of the doctors will advise you, not as frequently as the other three, but uh, at least once a year. These are also tests that you should bring up to your physician if you haven't gotten them done in the last one year. Number one would be renal function test, RFT, and that would just be because uh, we know that diabetes directly impacts um, uh, your kidneys. So we want to assess any damage that happens early on so we can start protecting the kidneys. Number two would be like a lipids profile and that would just assess your total cholesterol, glycerides, and this would basically be simply because we know that the higher level of cholesterol that's going to be more damaging by the diabetes and that is going to be damaging the diabetes as well so we would want to periodically check and assess that as well another very important uh, exam is going to be an eye exam or a retinal exam and the reason why a doctor will ask you to get this done at least once a year um, would be because the eyes are directly impacted and damaged by diabetes and the kind of uh, control or lack of control you have had and that is the and it, the damage that happens there is really permanent so we really want to assess this annually and make sure that we're on to it before it becomes a major thing and we want to be protecting our eyes um, before any real damage or irreversible damage uh, actually occurs um, some of the other tests I'm just going to mention them that may or may be asked uh, could be thyroid profile it could be uh, LFT liver function test um, and these will just be because they're either assessing something else or they're trying to find another reason for another thing. Now, please don't confuse this with the fact that these are the only tests that can happen. Um, you know, your doctors can ask you for other tests depending on if they're suspecting something else. But these are the most frequent ones. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As usual, if you have any comments, any questions, any topics you'd like us to discuss in further detail, please put them in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe to the channel so we know that we're making stuff which is more relevant to you and we can continue to make it. Hope you guys are all staying safe. Take care.